Coach Amy, and today's recipe is stuffed pepper soup. This is one of my all-time favorite crock pot recipes. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make it in the crock pot, and as I talk there, I'm also going to show you that you can make this on the stove top as well. It does not have to be a crock pot recipe. This is just my preference because I feel like you get a little bit more flavor when you cook it in the crock pot. So to start, for this recipe, you're going to need um, two pounds of ground turkey. And by the way, when you see the recipe card, it does say one pound, that's for um, one batch. I'm actually gonna double this because this is a great one to freeze and use for um, you know, batch cooking, pack for lunches, it freezes really well. So I'm going to double the recipe. So it's two pounds of ground turkey, four bell peppers, two medium onions, um, about three tablespoons of garlic, and then you're going to need three and a half cups of tomato sauce, which is about two large cans, four cans of diced tomatoes, three to four cups of chicken broth. Uh, what else do we have here? Salt, pepper, oregano, and if you like some spice, you can add a little cayenne pepper. So to start, what I did was I uh, browned and drained the ground turkey, and then I cooked the peppers, onions, and garlic together just for about two to three minutes to soften it up a little bit and bring out some of the flavors. So this is going to go into the crock pot first. Cut, and this doesn't take long to cook. You know, the ground meat or ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you choose to use is already cooked. So this can be ready in just a few hours. I like to just throw it in the crock pot, again, for more flavor. If you wanna do this on the stove top, you can certainly do it. Just follow the same directions. Um, and then I like to let it simmer for probably, you know, at least 30 minutes if you can, just to really bring out the flavor. All right, and then I'm just gonna add the tomato sauce, the tomatoes, and the chicken broth. And hope that my crock pot doesn't overflow. I have so many crock pots. It's like I have this entire crock pot family. Um, if you can see behind me, this is crock pot season. My counters are usually lined with them on Sundays. And you know what, this is perfect because, um, you know, this doesn't involve a lot of work for me. And I probably won't have to cook the rest of the week after, you know, making a few meals in the crock pot. All right, um, chicken broth depends on how thick or how thin you like it. I like thick and hearty soups, same with my chilies. So I'm going to add about three cups. I'm gonna add two now. I'm gonna let this cook for a while, then I'm gonna come back and check it and add um, a little more if I feel it needs it. This will thicken up a little bit as it cooks. So, you know, just keep an eye on it. Ooh, my bananas are swinging. We keep joking we need to do a blooper reel, a blooper reel of um, all the little mishaps I have while cooking. Okay, so this is all set. I'm just gonna cook this on low, uh, probably for about four hours. For some reason, this crock pot tends to get super hot for me, so it's not gonna need much time. And then when this is done, I'm gonna serve it over brown rice. So you can also use cauliflower rice. It's also delicious on its own. It doesn't necessarily need the rice. Um, a serving, I usually typically do about one half cup of rice and one and a half cups of soup. You can also add some additional toppings if you like, you know, a little bit of sour cream might be good on here. And I forgot the oregano. I'm also gonna sprinkle some oregano in here. If you like the spice, add the cayenne pepper. I like to taste test it a couple times as it cooks, you know, see if it needs a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. So, you know, take the recipe with a grain of salt and start there and then just add, you know, to your preference. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, you know, as always, send me feedback and let me know what you think. Have a great rest of your weekend.